I'm definitely going to do a quick like update with you guys while I'm driving. But before I got in the car, I wanted to show you guys what I'm wearing. I don't know what this vlog is gonna be. It's gonna be what I'm wearing slash who knows. I'm just gonna film random clips and put it up. Sorry about the no makeup. I'm in a huge rush. So I'm gonna quickly show you guys what I'm wearing. I'm not doing this in front of that mirror because the light behind was just making the quality look really, really bad. So I'm gonna try to do this as best as I possibly can. So for my jewelry, I'm wearing cute little mini door knockers from Forever 21. And this necklace was my dad's. This is the best Sherpa lined denim jacket. I'm obsessed. Why are you so obsessed with me? You have to size up in it though to get like that vibe. This is a crop Levi Sherpa jacket. So I got this in an extra large and it's meant to be like really tiny and cropped, but it's sort of just perfect because now I could wear like chunky sweaters or knits underneath and I have plenty of room. My lips are so chapped and gross. So let's ignore that. Okay. And then for my shirt, I'm just wearing a long sleeve black forever 21 cheapy mock neck top. I have like three different versions of these. I love them. For my jeans, I'm just wearing skinny, really high-waisted Joe jeans. And then on my feet, I'm wearing really cute leopard public desire booties. The heel is a little too high for like every day at work. I can't really wear these too much. I try to wear these like when we're going out, but I'm obsessed. They're so cute. Bye, Kobe. You be a good boy. Oh my god, he's so cute. Okay, obviously I need to get like proper vlogging stuff for my car, but I'm sitting in traffic right now. So this is a perfect time to give you guys a little bit of a life update. Um, a lot of you guys do kind of know, if you follow me on Instagram, kind of like what happened the end of 2018. There was just so many things that have happened in a short period of time, directly one after another. And I was just like, Oh my gosh, my life is literally spiraling. And it was just, there was a lot of good that happened too. And I'll talk about that too. But the most detrimental to like my mental health and just sort of my overall life was losing my dad. So my dad passed away late November and good thing I'm not wearing makeup because if I do end up crying, it is fine. Um, it was really hard um he was sick for a long time but towards the last few months of his life uh it just obviously got way worse and took a turn and it's just really hard when you lose someone that you really love um especially a parent i think it's just crazy life is crazy and you know losing him seeing what he went through really puts things in perspective and it was just nuts. It was really hard to find any inspiration to do anything, and it was just really tough. I went through a breakup, and then I went through a rekindling beautiful moment with my ex that I was with for almost six years. We ended up bonding and um, finding each other again, and now we're back together, and we ended up moving in with each other. It was like a beautiful thing that happened. Prior to us moving in with each other, um, prior to that, I got in a really bad car accident. <laughs> And it was just one of those things where I'm just like, really, it was, it was really bad. I mean, no one got terribly hurt. I am going to like the chiropractor and stuff like that. That happened and I was just like, okay, like it was just really bad. And now after all of this, um, me and Matt do have to look for a new place soon. So it's just been like a lot. I mean, it really is self-explanatory. That was just a long story short. Um, you know, obviously towards the last few or yeah, a few weeks of my dad's life, maybe a month and a half or so, I wanted to spend every waking moment that I could possibly with him. I took a lot of work off. I gained back half of the weight that I lost in 2018, which I don't care. It's like I yo-yo so much anyway. And I, I, you know, I know what works for my body and what doesn't. And that's a whole separate video on its own. What else? I, yeah, I just wanted to spend every moment with my dad. Like any second that I could be spending filming which I wouldn't even be in the correct mind state when that's happening to be filming at all and I, I people are so strong and they know how to like still know how to make life move on or go forward with terrible things that happen like that I mean it's life we're born we live life and then we die like that is that is life but after losing my dad and getting in that terrible car accident which people around the car accident when I got out were like looking at me like how are you 
how are you a alive B standing up like I crawled out of the passenger door with one arm I thought I broke my arm but it was just like a really bad contusion and I had like a bump coming like this big out of my arm it was just all bad okay so like big mess I still tried to stay positive through everything and anything Matt has been like my backbone sorry if my camera is like sort of everywhere I'm gonna have to hold this while I'm like going up the hill my eyes are on the road people um Matt has been like my backbone and my spine and taking care of me and it's just been it was it was bittersweet obviously like everything but just losing my dad was terrible and that's kind of it you guys that's like really what's going on in a nutshell it was a tough end of 2018 for me um there was beauty in it but the sadness overwhelmed a lot I still cry <laughs> like on a daily randomly I'll you know think of my dad and um it's hard it's just really difficult so uh, I know a lot of you guys reached out to me and were DMing me and telling me that you guys have lost a parent or anybody close to you or you know even recently I feel like 2018 um, was just a year of loss I have two of my best friends each lost a sibling like insane insane one of my best friends lost her brother and one of my other best friends lost her older sister and they were around the same age and it's just like so weird it's like that year was just weird it was just weird okay some people thought it was like the best year ever or others thought it was like the worst year ever like there was no in between just a really weird year and then towards the end obviously it was the worst I've ever had to deal with in my life so with that being said all of those things happening I keep saying it but it puts so much into perspective like little things that I used to get mad at or stress out over like if I didn't like it's just so sad that human beings have to like kind of go through certain things to put certain things in perspective it's like stupid it's like for example I would have been so depressed and upset and mad at myself if I gained back half of that weight um, that I lost without like any sort of like anything like it just happening I would have just been so mad at myself and beat myself up and it would it, it you know it just wouldn't have been the same in my head right now I'm just like oh my god thank god I'm alive you know I survived a car accident you know I lost my dad kiss and hug and tell every person that I love um, how much I love them every single day you can't take life for granted and it could just be taken away from you and there's just so many things that just it's just nuts so hopefully that was like a bit of an explained life update and yeah so the next clip just so you guys know as far as like my, my outfit goes it's what I was wearing yesterday and I didn't film a proper intro yesterday because I just forgot and I was rushing out the house and I thought I was gonna take my camera with me to work so I can like film my outfit really quick for work and it was just sort of a mess I have to like get back into the swing of things so excuse the randomness of this video so yeah I forgot to film this outfit this morning so I'm gonna quickly film this outfit while I'm at work um, I actually posted this look on Instagram and a lot of you guys are so cute you guys are just the sweetest people I love you I love you I love you like I have developed so many really sweet genuine like friendships on the internet does that sound so like lame but I have so you guys have dm'd me um it, it's so coincidental because it was with this look and I'm just starting this video you guys dm'd me and were leaving me comments like we miss you on youtube when are you coming back well I am back finally so I'm gonna quickly do this it's quiet right now so I just thought I would give it a go on the good old iPhone. Okay, I'm gonna start off with my earrings. These earrings are from Target. I actually follow this really cute girl on Instagram. Her name is Elizabeth. I actually follow her YouTube channel too. She's super creative. She's so realistic and actually relatable. Um, like she posts like super relatable stuff and I love her style. So I'm gonna link her Instagram below or maybe put her name handle somewhere on the screen here. Um, these are from Target. They were $5.99. I saw her wearing these and she had put them, linked them on her um, Instagram. Why do I have glitter on my face? I have not touched glitter. I'm not using no glitter. No one cares! That's so weird. Anyways, they were so cheap. I got them in a smaller version. I'm just really 
feeling the chunky hoop situation and my hair is getting really long i'm super excited i cut it like it looks kind of short right now but because it has like curls in it i cut it like two and a half three inches above my shoulder so it was like here right like maybe that's not that long in like seven months that's like didn't really grow that much anyway so this sweater is from forever 21 it's an older one it's like a ribbed they might still have it anything you guys know if you do follow me if you're new here i will link below anything that i could still find online or anything similar um this is like a mock neck slash turtleneck it's like in between it's like a chartreuse mustardy color i'm really obsessed with it um and then this jacket is the img pixie coat live in it live 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 it is so cozy and warm and i love just throwing my phone and my keys in my pocket and i'm like good to go i honestly don't even need a handbag when i'm wearing this jacket it's amazing um these jeans are from levi's they are the wedgie fit jeans Ugh, it's like i don't want to bash my own body and i understand why i've gained weight hello darkness my old friend because of you know where i've been the past several months but I'm back in the gym i'm like ugh, i don't even want to talk about it um because i yo-yo so much it's ridiculous um the jeans are levi's like wedgie fit and i actually bought a size up in these and they're so comfortable i love wearing them in a size up because they i don't know they're just more flattering they don't like hug your pooch or my pooch not everyone has a pooch uh and then my boots are old zara they are actually not old last season but i got them on sale like super sale I'm like obsessed with them that's it and i actually posted on my instagram i'm like oh look i'm not wearing any black but i am wearing my gucci marmont bag in medium today which is black so i guess i cheated but technically at work i'm not walking around with my bag so yeah that is my look hi guys so again i'm back in the fitting room at work because my timing has been so off usually i'm so organized with time and i wake up super early for the gym but i've been waking up late to go to the gym so then i've been rushing to go to work and then i've been not late for work i actually make it just on time but i don't have time to like be filming my outfits at home um and again i'm not used to this <laughs> i haven't done this in a while so bear with me <laughs> This is the chic dressing room at work. Anyway, so I'm going to quickly share my outfit with you guys. It has been so chilly in LA. I love it. It was raining last night. I didn't know if it was going to rain today, so I'm kind of like prepared for the rain. Um, I'm wearing my chunky Target hoop earrings again. Of course, my dad's necklace. I'm literally wearing this every single day for the rest of my life. This is so special to me, and I feel like a part of him is with me every single day. This jacket is like the best quality Gap bomber jacket that I got in the beginning of November, and it has just been my go-to like throw on black jacket. Matt's mom loved this so much that I bought it for her for Christmas and she actually bought herself one for Christmas but because she loved it so much she ended up giving hers to Mishy and keeping the one I gave her. So now her, Mishy, and I all have the same jacket. If you don't know who Mishy is, that's Matt's little sister. Um, and then this is that sweater I got from ASOS. I feel like I showed this to you guys in a haul. I actually melted like the fuzz off of it on accident in the dryer but I actually like it better. It makes the like leopard more pronounced and it shrinks a lot which I kind of like where it hits me now um, and then these jeans are Madewell skinny jeans that I got from Nordstrom Rack. Madewell jeans are kind of expensive I was a little shocked but they're really good quality and they're super comfy they're a little big on the waist but it's that you know time of the month so it's really really comfy honestly I actually wear these regardless they're just super super comfy and then on my feet I have these leather Chelsea boots with the lug sole that I got from Urban Outfitters I feel like I've showed these to you guys before I think I have not quite sure what is on the toe there. I have to clean it. But I love these. I love these as much as my Doc Martens. They are just so comfy, super simple, and I get a lot of compliments on these. And I feel like Urban Outfitters still sells them, so I will be able to link them below, hopefully. Anyways, that is it for the outfit today. And tomorrow, it might be raining, so I don't know how exciting our day is going to be, but I'm going to try to bring you guys along. So I will see you then. Okay, we're headed to downtown. And what are we doing today? What are we doing? We're gonna get food and beer. Well, I don't drink beer, but he drinks beer. You want beer? Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna go to Egg Slut, which is the bombest breakfast spot ever, and it's my favorite thing to eat. Like, I love eggs. Yellow middle. That's the best of what you are. Anyways, I'm gonna show my outfit when we get there, and hopefully it doesn't pour rain 
on our heads because our umbrella is really tiny and probably not gonna work for both of us, but yeah. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys my outfit really quickly. Um, my hat is an old Zara faux leather hat, and then these are the same earrings that I've been wearing every day of my life. And then this denim jacket is the Sherpa cropped Levi's jacket, if you could show this already in this video. And then this is a white ribbed, like three quarter sleeve top from Forever 21. Then my jeans are the Madewell jeans, and then I'm wearing my St. Laurent little Lou camera bag with really old fur lined Stuart Weitzman boots that are just triple OGs. I love them so much. And that's it. My babe looks really cute too. We're kind of twinning with our jackets, except his is black. He looked at me this morning and was like, so we're twinning? <laughs> what are you wearing? Is it twins? This is, this is uh, All Saints, right? It's a really thin, really cute All Saints long sleeve top. This is Levi's, I got him this for Christmas. And then, I don't know where your hat's from, but it's really cute. Beach, oh, it's a beach junkies hat. With, whose sunglasses are those? Mine, now. No. <laughs> yeah, I know, he like, took ownership. Those are from um, Crap Eyewear. They're really, really cool because you can wear them indoor and outdoor. And then he's wearing some black cute jeans and some Yeezys. I want yeah. those so bad, I want those in beige. You look really cute, babe. Thanks. <laughs> So cute, they have candy, fruits. Oh, they have McConnell's ice cream. That's like my brother's favorite. Men. We reached heaven. been dreaming about you. So good. Good. <laughs> so good. Uh. So we decided to come to Smorgasbord. And guess what? It's pouring rain, <laughs> but we're still gonna eat. It's so cool here. They have a ton of, I'm pretty sure they have more vendors in this when it's not raining, but it's our first time here and I really want to get a dessert. I knew today was gonna be like a cheat day. Yeah. I'm still hungry. He wants like food food. More no, food food. Want more like, food. Yeah, more food food. I want dessert. After I said I'm not having a beer, I got a beer. New location. It's called House of Machines, right babe? Don't be a dick. Let me see your bourbon. They stamped a lightning bolt in his ice cube. How cool is that? My head itches so much for my hat. Ugh. Okay, so now we are headed back home. Um, we're gonna go to the grocery store and I wanna buy some wine. Not to like be all like drunk all day. I just haven't had a drink in a few weeks and I feel like I just want a little bit more and relax with Kobe, right? I got a Merce. What's <laughs> Oh yeah, he got a Merce. <laughs> he got his whole bag. It's a really dope brand. It's called Pleasures, and we went to this um, store. It's called Bodega, and they carry like really <laughs> immerse, um, and they carry like just really dope brands. Um, and he's been obsessed with that wine, Pleasures, and they have really cool stuff. So he picked himself up a handbag. Yeah. So welcome to the club. It's just a fanny pack. <laughs> but you, you're the one that said you called it a purse. Yeah. No, you called it a man bag? It's, it's, a, it's a satchel. Babe, <laughs> a satchel's top handles I'm with the crossbody shirt. I knew that. No, it's a fanny pack. Yeah, it's, it's I technically. Just like pleasures. It's a, cool, it's a cool brand. Yeah, it is a really cool brand. Um, uh, yes, it's technically a fanny pack, but he likes to wear it like a crossbody. Anyways, like all the cool kids, right? Probably say this is the end of the video. 
What? Because we're just gonna, I'm gonna do, this is an outro. What do you mean? Like, this is the end of the video. So I'm just gonna say bye to everyone. Because after this, we're just gonna go to the grocery store, come home. And cook. And cook, yeah. And then maybe we'll, I don't know, maybe we should show some of that, yeah? King skills? Yeah. Okay, so now we're back home. Look, I'm fogging up the camera. We're cooking burgers. So, um, now I'm just going to say bye to you guys. You want to say bye? See you later. <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next vloggy. Bye.